All right, so imagine if moderator was um, actually nil or nothing was found, then we have a problem. So to make sure we don't fall into that trap, we first check if a moderator has a value. And then after saving into a session, we want to redirect um, you after a successful login to the admin moderator's URL, which is the only other admin page we have. And we do that with a notice saying you have successfully signed in. Okay, and in a case where uh, we don't have a valid moderator or you wasn't successfully logged in, we then we don't want to set a flash that says something useful. Um, there was a problem um, with your username or password, something like this. And we re-render the new method like that. All right, so, so this is our create method more complete. So if I try to sign in, it says, please log into view admin pages. Now, the reason it's doing that is we're saving a session on our local machine, but we're not really doing anything with it. So to make sure that we are using it, we'll go into our current moderator, which is always returning false. We want to make sure that it doesn't always do that. So the current moderator will check your machine to see the session there, if you have a session. So I'll say moderator, um, find, find, we pass in an ID to it. So this would be the ID from your machine, the session that we've saved. And only do this if the session actually exists. So that's what this here is doing. All right, so first um, we have a moderator value, but we can have this here. This basically says, only do um, check if moderator is empty and only do this if the moderator is empty. That's what that or equals is, double pipe equals does. So now our current moderator will always return um, a value or nothing. So now when there's a value, the redirect will not work. Now let's see if that solves the problem. We'll come here and we log in. And there we go, we've successfully logged in. Okay, signed in. So that's what we want. Um, something else we want to check, if we come over here and we go into the login page and we try to log in, um, log in with the correct username, but a, a wrong password, just one character. Okay, and that worked too. So that was a problem with the username or password. Okay, so our password um, login in page is nearly there. Um, if we come back here, so our authorized works, it goes, our session saves things in there. So let's see if we can add uh, a way of logging out. So if creating a session allows us to log in, so destroying a session, with a mean logging out. So to destroy a session, we just save nil, okay? And then after that, we redirect to the login page. And we want to give a notice so you know what is happening. So you have successfully logged out. All right, so we need to be able to call this. So we need a link somewhere. So if we're going to our logout, um, our layout um, page, so anything we put here will show on every single page that uses this layout. So we're going to have a, a link to. <clears throat> so we say logout. And here we say logout path. Now this doesn't exist yet, but we know what it's going to be called just like login path. Um, so here, so we'll go to login and it says there is no such path. And we go to our roots file and we say, whenever we have a get request to log out, um, redirect to sessions destroy. 
and that's that's all we have to do so we reset the page and we have a logout up here so it worked so let's try um, logging in even though we are already logged in just um, log in here it redirects us here and we click on logout it turns us back to login page and if we try to bypass and go directly to admin moderators and it redirects us back so we are still logged out so it works all right so let's um go ahead and log in properly okay so whilst we're here um and everything is working fine and we go back to logout and see what happens when i type some gibberish in here so a non-valid username and a non-valid password see everything explodes so there's a problem it says undefined authenticate for neo class now the problem here is we've given it an invalid username so it doesn't actually find uh, any moderator right and then we'll call authenticate and remember authenticate belongs to moderator is in the moderator model so that's a problem there is a way of uh, taking care of stuff like this on rails so there's a try method so a try method we can say try calling authenticate okay on whatever is returned from the find and pass in this as the argument so we we'll first we run this and it finds nil and then we try to call authenticate on it with this argument all right now rails will deal with it properly let's try that again so we have some gibberish for username password non-existent and this time around it doesn't explode it gives us our information as we want to so a try is a good method to use for such cases um, so we're going to leave it as it is all right, so just one more time, try to log in. Uh, log in with a username and it goes in fine. So it still works. So we're constantly having to test things out. Um, so that means that we have done this now. Um, can we log out by clicking on the link? Yes, we can. So this is also done. Um, the create method, so this is finished. And create method is um, we can make a session, a username and password, yep. Um, session is remembered, that's correct. So we've done all this as well. And the read, we need a logout link to all pages that call session destroy, that's fine. Destroy sessions, that's fine. Uh, we do show flash messages, messages. That's fine and that is done. All right, so we've done all that. So in the next lesson, we are going to look into starting the posts controllers and creating new posts and things like that. And that's it for, for this lesson. And um, revise if you need to, and I'll see you in the next lesson.